Hey everybody, I'm Hugh Brownstone for Three Blind Men and an Elephant, and today is a quickie. Just one minute's worth of images I shot in the Flatiron District of New York last week with Hasselblad's new 80mm f1.9 XCD on an X1D. Claudia and I were in town for Photo Plus Expo and took advantage of that fact to see many of our friends and try out a bunch of different gear. Now, we'll be doing the same thing for the Nikon Z7 and Canon EOS R with their new 35mm 1.8 and 50mm f1.2 S and RF lenses respectively in the coming days, but for now I'll just say this, any imperfections in composition or technical proficiency with any of these cameras is me, plain and simple. But before I go any further, just a reminder that between now and December 31st, every time you purchase anything from B&H using our affiliate links down below, when you follow me on Twitter or Instagram at Hugh Brownstone, or you sign up for our email, again, these links are all down below, you are automatically entered into our lighting gear giveaway thanks to our friends at B&H Photo Video. And yeah, your chances of winning increase the more of these things you do, of course. Anyway, here we go. Hasselblad 80mm f1.9 XCD. This was a pre-production unit on a mid-afternoon in Manhattan. What an amazing way to spend some time. <music> So small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no, no, nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town The Hassi 81.9 blows me away with its color rendition. The reds and greens are lush, skin tones, beautiful. And the perspective when you pair this kind of optic with a digital medium format sensor is lovely. I noticed a touch of spherochromatic aberration now and again, but whether this is due to lens design, sample variation, seating, or simply because it's a pre-production copy, I don't know. What I do know is that this lens gives us the field of view of a 64 millimeter lens equivalent on a full frame camera or 32 millimeter on a micro four thirds camera. And the resulting differences in perspective are clear when you spend enough time with each. The 80 millimeter on medium format sensor being the most flattering for faces. For my personal work, yeah, fast, crispy primes are the only way to fly. And with that focal length, and an effective full frame depth of field equivalent of 1.5, the 81.9 wide open captured people the way I see and experience them at a distance which kept things intimate yet comfortable. And that makes me happy. If you like what you've seen here today, please give a thumbs up, subscribe, join the conversation below. You guys continue to be just incredible, knowledgeable, inspiring, funny. I mean, you're a joy. Truly. Follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Grab one or both of our new Hold That Thought t shirts you wanted us to put up at our new 3bmepthreadless.com store. Support our work by using our affiliate links down below in the show notes, dropping us coffee money via our PayPal link down below in the show notes, or even better than that, we invite you to become a patron of our work over at Patreon. Link down below. We've created our Patreon page because we are stoked to bring you not only gear reviews, but with our What Were You Thinking and Good World Gone Bad series, historical, educational, artistic morsels, and longer form conversations, not interviews, with 
world-class photographers, curators, gallery owners, keepers of the legacy, folks like Elliot Erwitt, Anya Sear, Mark Lubell, Ethelene Staley, and friends like Brian Smith, Paul Giroux, Nino Rakicevich, and more. We'd really like you to join us to deliver this kind of content regularly. Your support on Patreon will really help us ramp it up. In which case, as always, we thank you for it. That's it. For Three Blind Men and an Elephant, I'm Hugh Brownstone. See you next time.